Good evening boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about milestones, how I got there and everything in between. So sit back, relax, hold tight and let's get into it. So where are we right now? First of all, I would just like to thank all my current subscribers and welcome all the new subscribers. As always, if you like what you see and you want to see more, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. I'm hoping to hit a thousand subscribers by Christmas. So for all you lovely people that are currently subscribers, let people know about my channel and uh, get all your friends, family, loved ones, work colleagues, or anyone else you can get your hands on. That sounded slightly pervy, that didn't it? or anyone else who you think may be interested in my channel and helping out a smaller, a smaller YouTube creator like myself feel free to drop them a link, get them to have a view get a like, get a subscribe, get a comment and anything in between so, milestones now I know I did a video a little while ago where I hit a milestone of a hundred odd subscribers pardon me but today has been a revelation I have managed to gain 500 odd subscribers. I am thankful, I am grateful for everyone and anyone who has liked, commented, subscribed and shared my channel. As, uh, yeah, that's greatly appreciated. So that's the first thing. Secondly, how I got there. Just seriously, just straight up hard work. In the last two months, I think I must have made about 20 videos. And granted, it does take a little while for uh, things to start happening but when they do, boy do they happen I mean obviously as you can see I'm on the bike so I can't actually give you any uh, analytics or numbers but all I can say is, is that I'm severely grateful I'm grateful, I am proud, I am happy that I've reached where I have and uh, I'm hoping to push to a thousand subscribers or even pass that if I can between now and Christmas if I can, great, if I can't, at least I've tried on a side note, if anyone has seen or heard about what uh, three-time MotoGP, well 500cc Grand Prix champion Wayne Rainey has done recently, he's uh, been paralysed for 26 years and he hasn't ridden a motorcycle in that time. Well obviously, you know, how can you because you're paralysed, but I digress. I was absolutely astonished when I saw this story. Um, he's doing a sort of like promo event with Yamaha um, called The Sound of Engines, I think it's called. They asked him if, they, if he wanted to race there and uh, I, can't, I think it's a company in Japan or somewhere like that have uh, somehow managed to find a way of getting him back on two wheels. Now admittedly, I have watched the video but for the life of me I can't think of the name of the brand or anything else other than the fact that it's a uh, Yamaha team based in the US that he's working with or should I say works with to get uh, this particular R1 up to spec so he can ride it. Now it's a 2019 Yamaha R1. Obviously specced out in uh, race trim and race fairings and uh, race tyres and all the rest of it. It's by no means a out and out, you know, world superbike spec bike or even an AMA spec bike. But it's still got uh, more than enough power to do some damage. And um, there's a quote that uh, Wayne Rainey actually said or a comment that he made, sorry, about the steering damper saying how that uh, it's, uh, in inverted commas, loose and then uh, one of the uh, pit crew turned around and said to him no Wayne, that's, uh, that's how they are these days, it's, the, it's done by electronics and he was like, what? Electronic aided steering damper, are you mad? and he was actually really shocked at how uh, technology has progressed since uh, he was racing and uh, he was also um, quoted as saying that uh, it was a very weird experience for him to be on a bike for the first time in 26 years primarily because obviously with, be with him being paralysed from the waist down the only real feedback he was getting is through the handlebars which in itself is a bit difficult to try and um, you know um, translate from feeling to paper and so that uh, the mechanics could do what they needed to needed to do to get the bike right for him. Anyhow, he managed to get uh, the bike sort of set for how he wanted it 
and um, again forgive me I can't remember the name of the company in America or in Japan or whoever it, wherever it was that uh, who uh, made up all the uh, all the equipment for him to go on the bike but uh, true to form you know with the way that Japanese people are and the way technology is these days you know the inch the intuitiveness and the uh, innovation is you know as usual way beyond anything that most people can expect they managed to rig up a system on his clip-ons which basically allowed him to change gear up and down the gearbox without using his feet without using his left foot should I say I have no idea how they've done it I don't have a clue where the technology's come from obviously I've seen it before but I'm not, uh, I don't know who makes it or whatever, so, you know, forgive me for that. But I kid you not, Wayne Rainey is a fucking living legend. I mean, yeah, okay, he's been in a wheelchair for 26 years. Yeah, okay, when he was racing, they were racing 500cc two-strokes or 500cc four-strokes, whatever it fucking was. But, boy, the smile on that guy's face. And when you watch the video, you'll see what I mean. When I ride my bike, I have exactly the same feeling. You know, I have exactly the same sensation. I always get off my bike with a smile on my face. To see that guy's face, it was an absolute picture. And when I watched it, I actually got uh, um, goosebumps. I got an absolute chill down my spine when I watched that video. You know, I've watched it twice and every time it gives me the same feeling. Because, uh, you know, I'm so happy for the guy to be back on a bike. I'm so happy that the technology is available to allow disabled riders to get back out on the road. It's, it's just amazing what technology can do for people these days. It really is. I mean, I know I say there's things I want to do to this bike, like I want to get lever guards, I want to get a quick shifter, I want to get this, I want to get that. But the actual fact that the electronics of motorcycles these days is so advanced, and just in general, people can buy things and find things online, uh, excuse me, that allow you to be part of the motorcycling community again. For example, there's a guy on, uh, well, there's a guy doing the rounds on Facebook, and um, there's a guy racing in uh, one of the amateur classes in BSB, and this guy's got one arm. He lost his left arm in an accident and had a, a Big Bang R1 configurated to suit him riding with one arm. So things like uh, the clutch uh, lever was put onto the right hand side. The front brake and rear brake were combined to make, so well, let's say, um, uh, traction, not traction control, but whatever it is to interlock braking. I can't, I can't fucking remember what they call it now. It's like, you know, it's just amazing. I never thought I'd see the day when a, a, a man who's been in a wheelchair for 26 years is able to ride a motorcycle again. It was actually awe-inspiring to watch. It's like, I'm not gonna lie, Seeing people that have got back on a bike after being disabled, it's definitely, definitely an eye-opening experience. If the technology is there and you have the money in the means, then fuck it, why not? Get yourself back on a bike. You know, it's like they say, you'll never learn to tame the horse unless you get back in the saddle. After seeing that, it just, it's just given me a newfound respect for, you know, living legends. There's always something that, um, opens your eyes to the human condition. You've got to wonder how people have the courage to do what they do. Wayne Rainey is a perfect example on how the human condition can overcome any obstacle. Yeah, okay, he's been reported as being, he was rather hesitant when he first threw his leg over the R1. Because obviously it's a bike he's never ridden before, because the last bike he rode was a 500cc two-stroke. If that guy can do that, then there's nothing he can't do. You know, he's an absolute fucking legend. There's nothing really more to say. The guy is an absolute legend. I would also like to say that, uh, once again, you know, thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you for the guys that have stuck around with me from the beginning. If I hit a thousand subscribers, I am planning on doing a giveaway. So if you want to be part of that, then don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. If we can get there, I will definitely be doing a giveaway. As to what that giveaway is going to be, I have absolutely no idea. And you want to see more from me, the 1098, and everything in between. Like all the new bikes I get to ride, all the road tests I get to do, if I'm lucky enough to do them, of course. All the products and gear reviews I'm going to be doing. 
you know, like I said, I can't thank you guys enough for the ones that are here. I can't thank, you know, the word of mouth enough. I can't thank, obviously, the internet. It sounds like a fucking Oscars speech, doesn't it? You know, at the end of the day, I love what I'm doing. I love riding bikes. I love making the content, the content I make. I love being able to bring you guys along for the ride. Like I said, if you want to see more, you want to be part of the journey, don't forget to hit that like button, tap that bell for notifications, and above all else, subscribe. Because making content is what I'm about. Ducati content, motorcycle gear content, you know, equipment, uh, workshop tools, anything and everything that I can get my hands on to make good content for you guys, then I want to be all over it. So if you want to see that, and you want to see more, apologies for the constant repeating myself, but I can't help it. I just wanted to really, you know, give you guys a heads up on the milestone that I've reached. Being on YouTube is like having a family away from family, if that makes any sense. And yeah, I just wanted to, you know, show my appreciation. I just wanted to say thank you. Keep up, keep up the subscribing. You know, give me all that feedback, all the love. Any suggestions of any upcoming videos you'd like to see, let me know. Any bikes you'd like to see me try and test ride or do a review on, obviously again, let me know. But uh, for now, this wraps up another daily vlog for you lovely people. So from me, Roy and Thunder, once again, thank you for everyone's support. Thank you for the subscribers. Keep spreading the word. Let's get to that thousand subscriber mark, if not more. And as always, look after each other, be healthy, be safe, have fun on your bikes, be safe on the roads. And as always, adios. <laughs>